even though both Scott and I told them it was a bad idea. Uh, <laughs> and of course, this was about the same time that I made a mistake of my own as far as vlogs go. Hey, Scott! Oh! <laughs> Very funny, man. Look at this. The girls are gonna love you that. You better delete that, man. Now. You can't take pictures in here. You know that. Delete it. I know Jeremy was just goofing around. I didn't think too much of it. But I logged onto the blog later that evening, and there it was. It was just a joke. <laughs> Jennifer and Corey even thought it was funny. Scott wasn't that happy about it. I didn't want all of them to be mad at me, so I just let it go. I had no idea what was in store. Well, Scott doesn't get along with his little sister, Rebecca, like at all. And she was nosing around our blog, saw the picture and busted him. She told his parents, told some friends. It was all over school. And the news finally got back to Principal Evans. I don't think the four of you realize just how serious this is. The parents of three of the members of the basketball team who are in the background of this picture called me after their son saw this. Now, I know you students like to take these pictures with your phones, but this school has a very firm policy as to where you are not allowed to take these pictures. Would one of you care to tell me where? Not in restrooms and locker rooms. Exactly. We have gone to a lot of trouble to make you students aware of the dangers of this kind of harassment and the consequences that taking pictures like this can have. I am assuming you took the photo. Yes, ma'am. I told you to delete it. And which of you posted this picture on the blog? I did that too. Jeremy, do you have any idea of the risk you were taking in posting this on the net? And do any of the rest of you have any idea how foolish you were in letting him do this? You not only violated a very firm school policy, but you jeopardized Scott's safety and the safety of the other boys by making this public. I guess I wasn't thinking, I just didn't think it was that big of a deal. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Scott. Save it, man. So, what's gonna happen now? I mean, we took the pic off the blog, so that means it can't hurt anyone anymore. Well, I am letting your parents know today that you are all suspended from school for one week. I didn't even take the picture. Corey and I had <laughs> nothing to do with this. You failed to report it, Scott. That makes you just as much a part of this. And you two girls knew the details of the situation and also did nothing. That gives you just as much responsibility. That's the way it works. As for taking this picture off the blog, it doesn't make a bit of difference. This photo is in cyberspace now. It can turn up anywhere. Principal Evans was right. Then about two weeks, Scott's picture was actually posted on an adult website with all these other pixie young guys. Scott's parents had to get involved with getting a lawyer to contact the website and demand the photo to be removed. They were so upset and Scott was so angry. The boys stopped speaking to each other. And then, to make it all worse,